entire country gearing up for the total solar eclipse. Now just hours away, the dramatic celestial event will be visible to 32 million people here in the U.S. who live along the path of totality. That's where the moon will appear to entirely block the sun. I love it. We're so excited to see darkness. <laughs> uh, the rest of us will only glimpse just at least a partial eclipse. That's okay. We'll get a little bit of it. Next weather meteorologist uh, Casey Sherman, she joins us now from the Frost Science Museum to shed some light on what we're going to witness today. So how much of this darkness are we going to see? <laughs> You know, it's only going to be a partial solar eclipse here in South Florida, but still a really exciting day here at the Frost Science Museum. They're gearing up to host a partial solar eclipse viewing with events that are kicking off at noon today, leading all the way up to that actual solar eclipse. Again, only a partial solar eclipse here in South Florida, but should still be a fantastic sight. So this is what we're going to be expecting. The moon's going to be passing between the Earth and the sun leading up into this afternoon. Uh, and with that, we're going to be looking at then the uh, moon blocking the face of the sun. Because the Earth is curved, the eclipse is viewed at different angles across the country, which is why not everyone experiences the eclipse in totality. Only those that are in the path of totality will. In South Florida, we are not in the path of totality, of course, but the sun will be obscured by 46% during maximum eclipse. So breaking down the timing, at 1.47 p.m., the eclipse will begin. More and more, the sun will become obscured by the moon over time until we reach 3.01 p.m., which is when our maximum eclipse will occur. At this point, 46% of the sun will be obscured by the moon. After that, the moon will begin to move out of view, and then by 4.13, the eclipse will have ended. Some things you need to remember for safety, you must wear legitimate solar eclipse glasses to view the solar eclipse sa uh, safely. Those regular sunglasses aren't going to cut it. Inspect your solar eclipse glasses before using. You want to inspect for scratches or rips and discard if they're damaged. And if you do wear eyeglasses, put those solar eclipse glasses over your eyeglasses. Wearing only eyeglasses, it's not safe. Remember, if you are planning on using cameras, telescopes, or binoculars, even with your solar eclipse glasses, unless the equipment contains a solar filtering lens, uh, it's not appropriate. Untreated lenses can actually magnify the rays of the sun and ca can cause even greater damage to the eyes. Uh, so that for anyone that does want to come out to the Frost Science events uh, here at Frost Science Museum, those tickets are still available online. They've got a lot leading up to it, including some interactive learning events, hands-on activities led by the staff. I know they've got a comedy show, too, all based along uh, around the eclipse, and they also have an eclipse showing uh, in the planetarium here. Lots of fun things on tap. Yes, got to make sure you have these glasses and that they're the, what is it, the ISO? ISS, one, two, ISO, yeah, that's Yeah, it. one, two, three, one, two, dash, two. I guess that's what you need to look for. Element OP. <laughs> All right, Casey, thank you.